Hey everyone, welcome to another installment of Harry Potter Theory. Today, we're going to be discussing the top 15 most powerful wizarding artifacts to have ever existed, and we'll be going through each one by order of least to most powerful. You'll notice that common magical objects like portkeys and wands, well, most wands, are absent from the list below. That's because this list focuses on the most powerful artifacts, that is to say, rare and historically significant items that wield great power, rather than those which are common and owned by many. Let's get started. Number 15. The Deluminator Starting us off at number 15 is the least powerful magical object on our list, the Deluminator. Also referred to as the Put Outer, the Deluminator is the size and shape of a cigarette lighter and silver in color. With a moniker like Put Outer, it's not terribly hard to imagine what this object is able to do. It puts out nearby lights. The Deluminator achieves this by collecting any form of illumination in close proximity. The operator can then also return the orbs back to where they came from simply by opening the device back up. The first known owner of such an object was Albus Dumbledore, who bequeathed his Deluminator to Ron Weasley upon his death. However, I will say this, the Deluminator appears to have some sort of a role in the new film, which I've yet to see, so perhaps it's more powerful than I'm giving it credit for. No spoilers, please. 14. The Goblet of Fire Next up on our list is the Goblet of Fire. Despite its varied description, the fact remains that this is one powerful goblet. It has the ability to select which students from participating schools should represent their institution in the Triwizard Tournament. Students submit their names for consideration, and those who are chosen by the goblet are then entered into a contract that magically binds them to partake in the tournament. 13. The Sorting Cat The patchwork cat that once belonged to Godric Gryffindor ranks number 13 on our list. Why? Because it holds all four of Hogwarts' founding members' intellect within its brimmed edges. The hat was made sentient and left to sort every student who walks into the Great Hall at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. It's able to peer inside the mind of young students and decide which of the four houses they will excel in. It beats out the Goblet of Fire because it has the ability to speak and form opinions, where the Goblet does not. 12. The Mirror of Erised Coming in at number 12 is the Mirror of Erised, which backwards spells Desire. This magical artifact is able to look inside the mind of any witch or wizard who stands in front of it, identify what they most desire, and show their desires back to them in their reflection. Engraved along the edge of the mirror are the words, I show not your face, but your heart's desire, backwards. It is said to be a dangerous and powerful object, as witches and wizards have stood before it, mesmerized by what they saw, and simply withered away. 11. The Pensive At number 11, we have pensives, rare and powerful artifacts. You likely remember that Dumbledore possessed one, which sat in the headmaster's office throughout most of the Harry Potter series. Pensives were typically round basins made of either stone or metal, into which ancient symbols and runes had been carved. They are the receptacles of an owner's memories, which take the shape of silvery wisps. Any witch or wizard can immerse themselves into a pensive and experience the owner's recollections firsthand. Before we get to number 10, I just want to mention that only 22% of you are subscribed, so if you enjoy the content and want more, then please subscribe to support the channel. 10. Prophecy Orbs Just as pensives can show a witch or wizard the past, prophecy orbs can hold prediction records about the future. True prophecies are hard to come by, which is likely the reason that these valuable predictions were kept protected in orbs in the Department of Mysteries of the Ministry of Magic. That is, until most of them were destroyed in the Battle of the Department of Mysteries in 1996. While similar in nature to a pensive, prophecy orbs rank higher on my list because they are able to tell you something that has not happened yet, rather than something that has. 9. Time Turners And while we're on the topic of time, that brings us to number 9. Time Turners We first see one of these in The Prisoner of Azkaban, when Hermione Granger uses one to enable her to take a larger than average class load. Ultimately, her and Harry use the Time Turner, which looks like a small rotating hourglass, to go back in time to save lives. Very powerful stuff. Of course, traveling back in time comes with many rules and dangers, 
which is why the Ministry of Magic prohibits their use without express permission. 8. Ravenclaw's Diadem Coming in at number 8 is the first magical artifact that could alter the abilities of the wearer. It is said that this beloved diadem of Hogwarts founder Rowena Ravenclaw had the power to instill wisdom to whoever wore it upon their head. Unfortunately, after years of belonging to Rowena, the relic had a somewhat tragic outcome. Stolen by Rowena's jealous daughter, Helena, and then turned into a horcrux by Lord Voldemort, it was ultimately destroyed by Fiendfire. 7. The Sword of Gryffindor The second and last of the Founder's relics to be included on our list today is the Sword of Gryffindor. While it doesn't have the ability to give whoever wields it greater power, it is an incredibly powerful weapon in itself, which magically presents itself to any worthy Gryffindor who is in need. 6. The Cloak of Invisibility Number 6 on today's list is one of the three Deathly Hallows, the Invisibility Cloak. Certainly the most low-key of the three Hallows, its power and magic are undeniable. As is made clear by its name, this is an ancient cloak that renders the wearer invisible to those around them. According to legend, it was bestowed upon Ignotus Peveril by Death himself, which allowed him to escape Death's clutches. The cloak was then passed down through the generations until it was at last given to Harry Potter. 5. Alistair Moody's Eye You may be wondering why the magical eye that Alistair Mad-Eye Moody wore ranks so high on this list. Well, it is the only object that I'm aware of that can see through the Cloak of Invisibility, which in my opinion makes it more powerful than the cloak itself. While fans have never been given an official explanation of Moody's eye, some believe it must have been taken from some magical creature, my theory is that Dumbledore enchanted it with the Elder Wand, which would make it quite the powerful object indeed. 4. The Philosopher's Stone The magical item of interest in, you guessed it, Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. This artifact is my choice for number 4. Described as a ruby red stone that is an alchemical substance, this object is the source of the elixir of life, which can make any witch or wizard who drinks it immortal. The elixir also has the ability to turn any metal into gold. The only known stone of this kind in wizarding history was created by Nicola Flamel, a celebrated alchemist and friend of Albus Dumbledore. 3. The Resurrection Stone Number 3 on today's list is yet another stone, but one that does somewhat the opposite of the Philosopher's Stone. The Resurrection Stone has the ability to bring a witch or wizard's loved ones back from the dead, or at least a form of them. It is another one of the Deathly Hallows, and therefore was also created by death and given to one of the three fabled brothers, Cadmus Peveril. Later in its story, the stone was set into Marvolo Gaunt's ring, which Voldemort stole, not knowing the stone was concealed inside, and turned into a horcrux. Dumbledore destroyed the ring some time later, however the resurrection stone remained intact, a testament to its incredible power. 2. The Veil One of, if not the, oldest magical artifact in the wizarding world that also possesses great power is the Veil. An ancient stone archway with a black, ragged curtain hanging from the top, the Veil is a physical manifestation of the gateway between the land of the living and the land of the dead. Those on the side of the dead cannot come back to the living, however they can murmur to those on the other side if they sense a loved one nearby. On the other hand, a witch or wizard can pass through from the mortal world to the land of the dead, but once they do so, they cannot return. Number 1. The Elder Wand Topping our list today at number 1 is the Elder Wand, the third and final of the Deathly Hallows. Created by death and the most powerful wand wizard kind has ever known, the Elder Wand made its owner invincible. In a duel, that is. However, it also brought death and destruction to almost all who possessed it, including the original owner Antioch Peveril, who was murdered by another wizard seeking its power, making it the most formidable and deadly artifact to have ever existed. As Xenophilius Lovegood put it, the bloody trail of the Elder Wand is splattered across the pages of wizarding history. And with that, we have come to the end of another video. What do you think of today's list? Did I miss any magical artifacts that you think should have made it? Do you agree that the Elder Wand is the most powerful object to have ever existed? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. What's your list? And as always, if you enjoyed this video, 
don't forget to like it and subscribe to the channel. Until next time, remember, perhaps those who are best suited to power are those who have never sought it.